For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you today. Last couple videos we were looking at in-game table bases, also known as the Nalimov table bases, the Fritz in-game turbo, bunch of names for it. But you've seen the videos, you know what they're about. They're in-game databases that allow a chess engine to play an in-game perfectly. Last time around we showed you how to load the table bases and how to make sure they're properly loaded, how to make sure that they're working. One of the cool things you can do with the in-game table bases, of course, of course you can play a game against Fritz or Ribka or any of the chess engines, Hierarch, Junior, or Shredder, and they will use the table bases so that when you get down to an end game, it will play the end game perfectly. If you get down to a late middle game in its analysis as it goes deeper, if it hits an end game position that's in the table bases, it will use that for analysis as well. But you can actually just set up an end game, a very simple one covered by the table bases, and practice that end game against the software. It's very easy to do and it's very beneficial because it allows you to practice your end game technique. There's a couple different ways to go about this. One of them, the old school way, is just to set up an end game position and have at it. So we'll show you how to do that in this video. The first thing that you want to do is go to engine, go to change main engine or hit F3 on your keyboard and make sure you have a, an, a proper engine loaded, one that you know will use the Nalimov table bases. For example, Fritz, Ribka, Junior, Shredder, and Hierarch will all use the table bases. Make sure you have one of those engines selected, or any other one that you know uses the table bases through the program documentation, whatever. Make sure use table bases is checked, then click OK. Hash table size doesn't matter. Hash tables aren't even going to enter into this. Okay, the program is not even going to use the hash tables. So just click OK. And that part of it is done. Then you go back to home, new game. Then you go to insert menu and come over here to position setup. Click on that, clear the board, and just set up the pieces that you want. Remember that since I have the white king selected, I can right click and put a black king on the board. And let's just throw a rook right here. I want to play the white side, of course. Side to move is white. Click OK. The position is set up. I want to call your attention before I make a move down here to the engine analysis pane. Watch what happens as soon as I move the rook. Immediately the program makes a move. It doesn't even think about it, and you immediately see the shortest path to mate. Mate in X number of moves. That shows the table bases are, in fact, being used. Here I want to make another move. Bingo! Instantly, we have a uh, we have a move. Every time I make a move, the software makes a move. It's just that simple. And you can just go on and play the end game out if you wish. Just go on and finish it, or get into a threefold repetition, or drop your rook. Whatever it happens to be, whatever the end result of this is going to be. So, if you're studying an end game out of a chess book, out of a very simple beginner chess primer you can practice those end games. You're going to get those three or four examples of a rook versus lone king mate and those examples are great. Read them, study them, learn them, but this is how you will practice by setting up pieces on the board, making sure your chess engine has access to the table bases as we saw in the previous video, and then setting up a position and just go to town. Just practice to your heart's content. Try different positions. You know, you don't have to always put the pieces in the same place. You can go, uh, uh, well, actually, you don't even have to go new game. All you have to do is go to insert position setup and just move stuff around. Put a black king in the middle of the board and put a white king nearby. Click OK and then start your in game training. It's simple as that. You just do that. Just set up positions and play them out against the computer. And notice that every time I make a move, Fritz moves instantaneously because it's not calculating, it's accessing the end game table bases. And this is excellent, excellent end game training for any level of player. You can put in more complicated endings, you can put in the, the famous knight and bishop against lone king mate, or you can do queen against rook. Anything that's covered in the table bases, you can do and get that instantaneous quote-unquote analysis from Fritz, because it's not analyzing, it's accessing the positions right from the table bases and playing the end game perfectly. 
and it's great in-game training. Till next time, for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.